Hey everyone, Skull902 here, and welcome to my second of probably only two 8-bit Sonic runs. This time, it's Sonic Chaos, known in Japan as Sonic and Tails, for the Sega Master System. Yes! Oh yeah! Indeed! <laughs> I don't even know why I did that, but uh, I'm going to be playing this game as Tails because I really don't like the special stages in this game. Uh, they're all, like, very different from each other, too. It's not, like, one set special stage. It's, like, a couple different challenges. But uh, Tails automatically gets the good ending. No special stages or Chaos Emerald collection necessary. And what I just showed off was the flight mechanic in this game, which is a lot fucking different <laughs> than uh, in other classic Sonic games of the era. Uh, I believe this was the first game ever that allowed Tails to fly. And the way that you uh, do it is you hold up and jump at the exact same time. Like, you, you've got to press them like one and one simultaneously with each other. It's pretty fucking weird. Uh, you get used to it after a while, but, you know, it's, it's just something, <laughs> you know? Uh, they definitely did the mechanic a lot fucking better in uh, the Genesis game. I was gonna say games, but it was only really one. I mean, Sonic 3 and Knuckles that let you do that, so... Uh, meh. <laughs> Whatever. And another thing, uh, you get ranked for speed uh, in this game, which is interesting, so... Uh, like... You'll get points depending on how fast you cross the uh, goalpost, or the, the exit sign, signpost, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I think that's an interesting way of doing things. Uh, you know, just uh, a, a way to uh, separate it from other Sonic games, I guess. Though I swear sometimes it screws me over. I got caught in this pit here. I thought this was a little amusing. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Use the flying mechanic to get back up there and... Oh boy. Oh boy. How embarrassing. Silly me. But anyway, you know. Uh, just just an interesting way of uh, collecting points and all that for continues. And my god, is it really fucking easy to get continues in this game. Like, holy fuck. <laughs> I think... Uh, no, oh wait, no. That's, that's gonna happen a little later, never mind. Something that I was thinking of as far as uh, continues are concerned, but... You know, you just, uh... I think it's every 30,000 points you get to continue. So, like, if if you play and beat the game, I mean, you'll, you'll most likely be really good on continues by the end of it all. Not a very long game, either. So, that's, that's something that's, you know, good. Wow, I'm really sucking ass at this commentary already. It's the first zone, and I'm doing two in uh, in this part. Now, here's the first boss. Uh, a lot of these bosses in this game are really piss easy. This guy is one of them. Though I almost made it hard for myself, for getting the strategy, but, you know, it's just what you do. You spin dash into him, you get to turn yourself back around, but that's not any big of a deal. And then you just, you know, go and do it again. It's, uh... It's simple as that, and as you can see there, just what I was talking about, those continues, man, they they stock up, I swear. Now here we are in uh, Gigalopolis Zone, which is like one of the weirdest zones ever to pronounce. It's fucking... what? <laughs> but uh, here's a uh, good example of um, the level design in this game, because I think it's, it's very hold right to win at times Sonic Chaos can be. This here is just me exploring. Only to find fucking nothing. Uh, but... It, like, you just keep going along the path and usually you can make it to the signpost in about half a minute. It's, uh... interesting, I, I guess. Like, I, I wonder what the speedrun record for this game is, actually. Because, uh... It, it seems like one that would, uh take a very small amount of time to complete considering it you know less than a minute right here that I got it and you know it's just uh, just very quick game very hold right to win as I had already previously stated I am really running out of things to talk about already <laughs> but it's okay if I have to, if I have to bullshit my way through this 
By God, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll just talk about anything. Not even remotely related to the game. But as you can see, uh, th th like this one at the end, I'll have to remember, uh, has the thing that I'm talking about with the with the signpost. It's, uh, once again, I'll use the term interesting because apparently I don't have a thesaurus in my brain or smarts or anything like that. Just whatever. Um, but I will explain something about the rings. I believe it's either 50 or 100. It's probably 100. I just got fucking hit there like a dumbass. Uh, it, like, every time you get either 50 or 100 rings as Sonic, uh, you'll automatically be put into the special stage. Speaking of Sonic, we have him on the time post. What does that mean? Well, for Sonic, it means you get an extra life. For Tails, it means that you get a uh, continue. So, uh, you know, uh, good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> Uh, it works the opposite way, too. If you get a signpost uh, that hits on... Whoa, I'm, I'm going to change my terminology right there. Uh, the, if the signpost lands on Tails' face, uh, and you're playing as Sonic, you'll get a continue. If you're playing as Tails, you get an extra life. And uh, just to say something right now, fuck this boss. This is, like, one of the non-piss-easy bosses. I fucking hate him so bad. Like, I'm making him look like a, a cakewalk right here, and this isn't me learning the strategy like a smart gamer. This is just fucking pure luck after I fought him three previous times. I, I cut out three deaths, I believe, from, from this, and just, ugh, just awful. I'm such an awful player, but this is such an awful boss. I swear to God. It just hits you, and... You lose your rings, and you don't have a very long time to pick them up because your invincibility frames are, like, they give you, like, maybe a second or two of invincibility. Just, ugh, just fucking awful. <laughs> but, yeah, so uh, Sleeping Egg Zone will be next. I'll see you guys in part two, and thank you for watching.